So before we can add a button, we kind of need uh, an icon for it. Um, we also might want to grab a different icon for our app while we're here. Uh, a good place to find some icons is Icon Finder. And what's really great about it is you can search by uh, the type of icon. You can also search by um, what license it's under. So in this case, the GPL, uh, to make it uh, something that you can actually use without getting into trouble. <coughs> Excuse me. So um, in here, you can see different types of uh, um, folders, files, and all that kind of thing. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to grab this icon right here and we'll download it as a PNG which is going to be a little more useful to us so we've got that icon finder icon and um, we'll grab another one uh, see we have a lock icon maybe see if we got a unlock icon going on here yeah, we'll just grab that lock icon that'll work for us and we'll download that as a PNG so once again icon finder pretty good place to go you can search uh, by licenses so you can get uh, you know something that's uh, free and available for you to use license under GPL is, is probably best so that way you can actually utilize it and then you need to take those icons and put them in the right place so we download those icons and where we need to put them is in our Android Studio project and we're going under testing in this case and our is it our SU app and then we have app source and we have main res and here we have the drawable folder so this is a good place to put uh, something that is like an icon or something that's been drawn you can actually have different ones different sizes a lot of different uh, good things you can do we're just keeping this really basic we're just going to put our two um, icons in here. Let me grab that real quick. There we go. We've got those uh, put into our drawable folder now. And uh, what we'll see in here is now we have them listed. Now the names of these are a little bit complicated and so it might be better to rename them. And you can you know, right click on them here and actually um, should be able to rename them from here. <laughs> Looks like might have spoken out of turn. All right, maybe you can't rename them there. So I guess you can just rename them here and we'll call this uh, lock and we'll call this um, magnify or we'll call it search. Search and lock. All right, there it goes. Renamed them here, search and lock. So we've got our text view here. Uh, this is just a text that says something. Uh, it's called a text view or a view of text. There's a couple different ways to make buttons. Now the easiest way is just to make a button and you just drag it in there and it's just kind of like a boring looking button and you can choose a couple different styles and things like that. Um, but what we're going to work on is just adding an image button because we want to use our uh, lock or search image to actually make our um, you know button a little more interesting looking so a really easy thing you can do is you can just drag it right under here and say I want to put it we'll put it above right here put it right there and it says what do you want to uh, 
you know, to make the image of that. And we can just type search. And we see under our Android right here, we have some options. And then we have under project, though, project is going to be, you know, all the things that we put in there. If we take that out, we can see search right here or lock. Um, so we'll just say, you know, if you're searching for it, you can say search, and there it is. So we'll grab that. We'll say OK. All right, it's pretty big based on the size that it was there. Uh, we can zoom in here as well. And let's move that. Hmm, for one, I don't really want it to be quite that big. So we can choose a size that we want. We can actually just drag it right here. And notice that it changes it, but doesn't uh, doesn't change the image there. But uh, several different things that we can do. Um, wrapping content just makes it the size uh, that the button was, and so we just put it right here in the middle. And we're going to take our text view. We're going to move that to be up here at the top, right there. And our text view right now says the text of Hello World. And we're going to change it to say, um, look up files. Or actually, we'll just call it list files. That's going to be our text. You can do it caps or lowercase or anything you want. And it changes it to be list files right there. So again, we're just making a very basic app. We're going to push one button, and it's going to do something for us. Uh, notice that it gives us this error saying, well, you should you should use a string resource and something like that. And um, while those are good, uh, we'll, uh, we're going to forego that, because again, we're just trying to make a really basic, basic app. So. We've got kind of our button that we're going to be clicking on. And uh, what do we want it to do when we click on it? And right now, we have nothing for it to do. It says on click. So when I click on it, what do you want it to actually do? And we're going to look at what we can do with that uh, very, very shortly.